Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Darkwing Duck for the Game Boy. In the last episode, we took on Moliarty. And not surprisingly, he was much easier than in the NES version. A little bit. And now, as I change what day it is on um, this little pillbox that I use as a day of the week reminder, if you're wondering what that little clicking noise was, we are about ready to head to Bushroot Stage. We are about ready to head into the forest. Something strange is going on in the woods. It may be the work of Bushroot. Go check it out, Darkwing. And we might as well. I mean, that's the game, that's the stage that I played before we started this video. Get a drink of some ice cold tea. And then we should be on our way. Now, these flowers take five hits to kill, and you have to shoot down the roots. Also, these dogs in their dog houses take three hits to kill. And they will charge at you if you get close enough to them. These birds will fly at you if you get close enough to them. They only take two shots to destroy. Thankfully, I've never really had that many charge at me. Also, I want to shoot this guy down and then grab that light. I know it's a little impossible because of how the jumping is, but it is doable. And you have to be really close to the birds to get them to charge at you. Might as well just go ahead and grab the health because why not? Even though I don't need it. And then... Well, I, what I wanted to do... is do it this way. Ow. Retreat. What I wanted to do is hang from the vine and do it that way, but... Well, I left off the vine before I should have. And as long as I don't jump, that bird is not going to get me. And I should be able to get some health soon, believe it or not. And, of course, if you need Thunder Gas, which we are going to need, you can get it right here. And I'm going to jump over the waterfalls here just to ensure that I get this. And now I'm going to wait on this platform. Right, now I need to drink, wait for it again because I was too busy trying to get a drink of tea. Didn't think it'd pop up so quickly. And while I could go for that gas, I don't necessarily want to. And from here, we can just drop down. The bats take one hit to the feet. And we can drop down here. We don't have to worry about much. The mice in the armor, you have to shoot them in the head. They take two hits to the feet, and the first one knocks their little helmets off. These inflated birds take two hits to the feet, but if you knock them off the side of the screen, you don't have to deal with them again. You don't have to deal with them for a second shot. And now, it's the time for the battle with Bushroot. I'm going to start off with a few regular shots, and then I'm going to switch to the Thunder Gun for the rest of the battle. Now, eventually, as Bushroot switches from one level to the other, yes, we have only two levels to work with here. Bushroot will summon this hand that will throw balls. And I'm sorry about the silence. I kind of had to concentrate there. Stay on the move. The three balls won't hurt you. And I ran out of Thunder Gun. That's embarrassing. Okay. You know what? Because that's it's happening that way, I'm going to have to avoid using... Oh. I'm going to have to avoid shooting Bushroot as the balls are being thrown at me. Thankfully, I didn't have that much to go in terms of damaging Bushroot. So that's good. And we now have 
one more stage to go, but that will have to wait until the next video. I'm surprised the levels are getting a little bit easier. I know that the action is a little more zoomed in because of the Game Boy's smaller screen, and that the jumping physics are a bit weird compared to the NES version, but the game is leveling off in terms of difficulty a little bit. It's like they kind of figured out, you know what, we should probably make things a little better for the Game Boy screen when they were working on this part of the game. But at the same time, they kind of didn't really look back on the first part of the game and change stuff a little bit. Kind of weird. Anyway, join me next time where we take on Megavolt. That's it, Megavolt. I'm about to say, I know I remember the name for the boss for this one last stage. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!